how much do you have to invest into SCHD to be able to live off of the dividend payments? And stick around for the answer because it's actually quite surprising and it's definitely quite a bit less than you would expect. SCHD, aka the Schwab US Dividend Equity ETF, is my favorite dividend ETF. The fund has market beating returns over the past decade, an above average starting dividend yield, phenomenal dividend growth, and in my opinion has been a great example of a fund that allows the dividend snowball effect to take place. According to Charles Schwab, the fund's goal is to track as closely as possible before fees and expenses the total return of the Dow Jones US Dividend 100 Index. It's a straightforward, low-cost fund offering potential tax efficiency. The fund can serve as one of the core holdings of your portfolio or complement a diversified portfolio. It tracks an index focused on the quality and sustainability of dividends and invest into stocks selected for fundamental strength. The fund has an expense ratio of just 0.6%, much lower than many of its peers. It also can be a great way to minimize risk during bear markets as the fund outperformed the S&P 500 index during 2022. The fund also has a rich history of increasing the amount it pays in dividends over time and has nearly a 14% five-year compounded annual dividend growth rate. All of this data is pulled from my favorite investing research site, Seeking Alpha, which you can sign up for at my link in the description and get 58% off. These are all many of the reasons that I love this fund, so let's answer the question of how much do we need to invest into SCHD to live off the dividend payments. To answer this question, I built out a spreadsheet model which you can download on my Patreon page at the link in the description. And unfortunately, the answer to this question is commonly miscalculated. For this example, let's say that your monthly cost of living is $4,000 a month with inflation averaging 2% a year. So you can see how our cost of living will increase over time. And here's how most investors commonly miscalculate how much they need to invest to live off of dividend income. Since their monthly cost of living is $4,000 a month, with 12 months in a year that comes out to $48,000 a year to live off of dividend income. SCHD's current share price is $71 per share, which gives it a starting dividend yield of 3.56%. So here's a very simple formula that they use to calculate the amount they need to invest. You'll take the amount that you need to live off of dividend income, and you divide that by the starting dividend yield 3.56. So when I hit enter, you can see at its current price, you would need to invest $1.35 million to be able to live off of dividend income. But there are two major problems with using this method for calculating how much you need to invest in SCHD to live off of dividends. And the first is rather obvious, and that's that 99% of people don't have $1.35 million in cash sitting on hand to invest all at once. This means that most investors are typically going to have a set amount that they seek to invest every single month. And with that being said, that means that this method does not account for the fact that we're going to be seeing dividend growth over time and we're also going to be reinvesting our dividends. It also means that we'll need to invest much less than $1.35 million to live off of dividend income. To prove this, I built out my own financial model so we can see what it would look like if I made $1,000 contributions into my portfolio every single month. And we need to make a couple of assumptions about how SCHD will perform in the future, so let's go ahead and look at some historical data. And we can see over the past decade, on average, SCHD has seen share price appreciation of close to 11%, and it's also seen a little bit above 12% dividend growth. So for this model, you can see I'm assuming an 11% price growth rate, a dividend growth rate of 12%, and of course, a starting dividend yield of 3.56%. And with all this data, I can project how well the fund will perform over 30 years into the future. And here on our analysis tab, you can see we have a chart showing us exactly how long it will take for our dividend payments to surpass our monthly cost of living. But more importantly, we want to see how much we have to invest for that to be the case. So let's go ahead and jump over and look at our raw data. And there's a couple of things that I want to point out. First off, we have a column right here telling us whether or not we can live off of dividend payments. And that's simply telling us whether or not our monthly dividends are larger than our monthly cost of living. And keep in mind, you can see our monthly cost of living is increasing because of inflation. And then right here, you can see we have a column showing how much we've contributed over the lifespan of our contributions to our portfolio. So let's scroll down and see when we can live off of our dividend income. You can see five years in, we're not there. 10 years in, we're not there. 15 years in, we're not there. And around year 20, you can see this column 
right here, we can now live off of our dividend payments as our monthly dividends are larger than our monthly cost of living. And what's really crazy about this is if we jump over to our total contributions, you can see during that time period, we've only contributed $248,000 to our dividend portfolio, and we can already live off of our dividend payments. This is a difference of over $1 million compared to the people who are doing this calculation completely wrong, so you can see it does not take nearly that much money to be able to live off of dividend payments as you can see from our model. And this is because of two major things that allow the compounding effect to take place, and that is dividend growth and reinvesting our dividends over over that time period and like we saw in our back test we're assuming a dividend growth rate of 12 percent starting dividend yield of 3.56 percent but we're also reinvesting all of the dividends that go into our portfolio and you can see up to this point we would have contributed over $395,000 just from reinvesting our dividends, and this would lead to an account value of over $1.67 million. So not only would our contribution only be $248,000, we can live off of dividend payments and have a dividend portfolio of almost $1.7 million. To go even further in showing you how much of a difference reinvesting your dividends makes and investing into dividend growth companies, let's go ahead and look at a couple more charts. And you can see here we have a chart showing us our total contributions in blue and our total gains in orange and combined it gives us our total portfolio value and you can see after 10 years we will have contributed around $121,000 to our portfolio and from this we will have received over $155,000 in gains. What's even more incredible about this this chart is just the first 10 years. If we look at this chart that is 30 years this area right here is the first 10 years. It's basically what we're seeing right here but it's so small comparison to how much our portfolio grows in the future. So you can see that from contributions around $361,000, our total portfolio value will grow to over $7 million. Let's go ahead and jump back over. We'll scroll all the way down. Let's go ahead and see just how large it will be. After our 30 year period, we could be receiving almost $30,000 a year in dividend payments and our total portfolio value right at $7.5 million. And this is all from total contributions of $361,000. $61,000. Now, some of you may be thinking, yes, but those projections are a little bit more aggressive. So that brings up a couple of different points I want to make. And we'll use 2022 as an example. We can see SCHD compared to the S&P 500 way outperformed during a bear market. In a year where the S&P 500 was down right at 20%, SCHD only declined about 6.52%. But even with that, let's go ahead and lower our projections a little bit. Let's say we have a price growth rate of nine and a dividend growth rate of 10. Let's go ahead and jump back over and see what those results look like once again. Let's go ahead and start scrolling down and seeing how long it takes for us to live off of our dividend payments. And in this scenario, we are now a little bit over 22 years, closer to 23 years, and our total contributions will be around $274,000. Total portfolio value right at $1.7 million. So while living off of dividend payments does take time and consistency, it doesn't require nearly as much capital as some people would lead you to believe, such as $1.35 million. It can be done with values much, much smaller than this. If you'd like to be able to download this spreadsheet used to analyze SCHD, then you can head over to my Patreon page at the link in the description. Seeking Alpha is also running a major sale at my link in the description, so if you're interested in that, be sure to check that out. So that being said, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel.